the second race in the third division of the 2004 pacing classic and they're often pacing with Lucky is as Lucky does and Royal Majesty scrapping for the early lead and Escape the Wind tries to get their measure. Royal Majesty marching to the front. Lucky is as Lucky does well away in second. In between horses is Gallo Blue Chip. Pinnacle following on the inside Escape the Wind a little bit extra wide around the first turn and Cam Cracker is the early trailer. Royal Majesty Lucky is as Lucky does already vacating the two hole and drives to the lead. The quarter was 26 and 3. Lucky is as Lucky does and Mike Saftig clear off the front. Royal Majesty settles back in second after depositing Lucky Is as Lucky Does. Taking in third was Gallo Blue Chip. Escape the wind out the first three-eighths and beyond. In first half, park out trouble. Pinnacle along the inside, second to last, and Cam Cracker continuing to trail. Lucky Is as Lucky Does. Royal Majesty bravening up in second. Gallo Blue Chip third. Escape the wind going the wide, wide, uncovered way ahead of Pinnacle and Cam Cracker. 53 and Four, the inquiry sign posted during conduct of the second race. Hold all tickets after it's over. Under three eighths of the mile to go. Lucky is as Lucky does. Royal Majesty escaped the wind out all the way. Is trying to surge on again against the leaders. Gallo Blue Chip locked at the cones. In fourth, Cam Cracker swings out second over on the back of Escape the Wind. And Pinnacle is off the cones from sixth. Lucky is as Lucky does. 122, 28 and 1 in the third quarter. Down the stretch in the pacing classic third stop of 2004. Lucky is as Lucky does. Royal Majesty escaped the wind. Here comes Cam Cracker on the outside, but Lucky is as Lucky does is clear and driving away. That's Lucky is as Lucky does in the pacing classic third stop of 2004. Over Cam Cracker, Royal Majesty, then Pinnacle against Escape the Wind, 150 and 1. Lucky is as Lucky does with the inquiry sign posted. Number two, Lucky is as Lucky does, returned to Mohawk's winner's circle. The Camlock five-year-old Bay Gelding from Tarbella, Hanover. Owned by Cliff and Herbert Siegel of Brooklyn, New York, and John Federa of Staten Island. Trained by Mark Carter and driven to victory by Mike Saftig. That's his eighth win in 13 starts this year. Fast approaching a million dollars in life's earnings. Lucky is as Lucky does, 150 and one in the second. With the Winner's Circle of Presentation, we're pleased to be welcoming Arlene and Dr. John McKnight from Northfield's Farm. Northfield will be selling eight yearlings at the Forest City Yearling Sale this October. It's established its reputation by producing major money winners in Ontario, such as Northern Bailey, Northern Dynasty, Northern Harmony, and Northern Knight, to name just a few. With thanks to Dr. John McKnight, the second race Winner's Circle of Presentation to Pacing Classic Division winner, Lucky Is As Lucky Does. Students steal the headlines, finishing 1-2. Cam Cracker, runner-up, Lucky Is As Lucky Does, uh, the winner. Mike, safe to say he's maybe been the biggest surprise of this season with uh, his toughness, his tenacity this year? Yeah, he was uh, he was a top free-for-aller on our circuit this winter, but then he left for a while, went to Florida. He come back a stronger horse for sure. He's a horse who seems to really like to work. Uh, he's not the kind of horse that sometimes appreciates a good trip. Uh, he likes to get out there and get his hands dirty. Yeah, he's that kind of colt for sure. He, uh, he likes to dance and uh, he's got good speed. Uh, you know, he showed it tonight and hopefully he can keep on trucking. Back in Ryan tonight, did you have the aggressive game plan set out that uh, you employed tonight? No, I, um, I mean, we're looking forward to next week. We've got to take the carbon out of him, get him back on his uh, winning ways. Um, I, I just was going to see how it set it up off the gate, and it looked, good, you know, it looked like the move was to do it as we moved to the front and, and let them catch him this week. Half and 53 and change. How'd you feel at that point? I didn't even want to look at the half. Uh, I know we were rolling. I had to move early before the quarter pull, so we had him trucking. Um, but uh, he's a good horse, and he, he went pretty easy. What kind of horse is better if you roll him right along? Um, he, he can come first up. He can come off the pace. We've raced him like that many times. Um, you know, they start getting a little respect, and he's, he is getting off the gate a little better, so that's why we're a little closer to the front these days with him. 